This invasion began on July 10, 1943 and ended on August 17th of the same year. The Canadians attacked alongside both the British and American armies. There was also an aerial part to this assault, but it was not successful due to very strong winds. All of the invasions were on the southernmost part of Sicily. The United States Army had the largest responsibility in terms of land area. Then came Britain, and then Canada. Although Canada had the smallest area to invade, they still played a major role in this invasion and played an even bigger part in the remainder of the campaign. The invasion of Sicily was successful and the German and Italian troops fled to Calabria. This is a map of the invasion of southern Italy. The subsequent invasion of mainland Italy was codenamed Operation Baytown. This was relatively easy except for at two locations, Salerno and Taranto, where the Allies were met with heavy German resistance. The resistance at Salerno was one of the major battles of the Italian campaign. The south of Italy was successfully captured and the troops prepared for the long, treacherous march towards Rome. Very treacherous. The troops were also subject to German ambushes. Because of the natural geography of central Italy, and the time of year it was, the Allies' advance to Rome was very challenging. The march toward Rome took place from October until June of 1944. The French and Polish armies joined Canada, the US, and Great Britain for this attack. Nonetheless, Rome was captured and the war continued. Another important battle of this time was the Battle of Artona. In Artona, they slugged it out with the house to house, with the, with the toughest troops in the German army. It was rated the first best art, best division in the arm in the German army it was the first pair division. That's where mouse holding was uh, invented or came upon by the uh, those troops. I know we use it several times too. They went from house to house, blasting from one wall to the next. That's that's how they made their way up the street. That's how bad it was. Remember, it's an ancient town, and the streets weren't boulevards such as we're used to here, and, and uh, the homes were all link or uh, multifaceted homes all joined together so and you couldn't get out in the street and snipers would grab you so the fellows uh, would blow a hole and you always when you cleared a house you always cleared the top first and work your way down eh? so they'd run in and get upstairs they clear that clear the bottom then they'd blow a hole in the wall to the next one so that way they didn't have to go out to uh, to the um, the street, and that's where it was invented, mouse holing. The Canadians should remember Ortona, because practically every building in that house, including the cathedral, was savagely battered. Not because they could do anything different, but the Germans used them as observation points, so any high point was always knocked down, shot up, or beaten. And every house in Ortuno was shell-shocked.
This is real life footage from the Battle of Ortona. As you can see, it was quite dangerous. From June to August, the Allies moved past Rome and took Florence. Germany's final line of defense in Italy was called the Gothic Line. Operation Olive, which was an attempt to break the Gothic Line and advance to Hungary to stop the Russian attacks, started on August 25th of the year 1944. 1944. Both the 8th and 5th armies had penetrated the Gothic Line, but none were successful enough to completely move past it. The Allies' last offensive began on April 9, 1945, with large artillery and aerial bombardment. By the end of April, the Axis forces surrendered, having retreated completely and having lost most of their active troops. This brought an end to the Italian campaign. You're coming with me. Oh, per favore! Non mi piace i tedeschi. <laughs> By the end of this campaign, the United States, Great Britain, Canada, India, Poland, Brazil, New Zealand, France, South Africa, and Greece had all participated. The three biggest participants in this campaign were the United States, Great Britain, and Canada. I chose this event because it was the first time that Canada was really able to prove itself as a capable army in World War II. Canadian troops were first used for the raid on Dieppe, which failed. After that, the Canadian troops stayed in England to keep training. After pressure on the Allied leaders, it was recommended that Canada be included in Operation Husky, which was the invasion of Sicily. This was important because Canada took advantage of the opportunity to prove themselves to the world and were rewarded with recognition. Canada was moving up in the world and this certainly didn't hinder that. 